But first, our daily bread. It's a staple of life and most of us expect that it will be fresh baked. But think again. Our nationwide investigation reveals much of the bread sold in supermarkets is two, three, even four days old. So how do you tell? Once upon a time, supermarket bread was fresh every day. Anything that didn't sell that day was tossed out or sold at reduced prices. We're still told that bread is fresh, but... When I touch that, I think it's been baked just this morning. Yes, but it could be four or five days old. It could be a little bit misleading for the average consumer out there. 60% of our bread is purchased from supermarkets, a million loaves a day. Fresh? Well, think again. Misconception. Do you think that bread that you bought today is fresh today? Um, yes, I've assumed so, yes. So when you buy for bread, do you think it's baked on that day? Yes, I generally make that assumption. See, it feels nice and fluffy and soft, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And it'll still be like that in five days' time. Howard Dengate is a food uh, scientist and advocate of change in the bread industry. Fresh doesn't really mean anything. Uh, it's not a legal term. Fresh just means they've uh, decided to put some advertising there to convince you. It's like the word natural. It doesn't have any significance. Gone are the good old days of flour, salt, water and yeast. Some breads are a chemical cocktail these days that enable them to be left on shelves for up to five days. That's why you end up with a soft crumb and that's why it lasts for so long. It doesn't go stale the way bread used to when it was baked without all those added chemicals. There are four different date markings the major bread manufacturers could put on their loaves. Baked for, baked on, best before or used by. In a self-regulated industry, they choose the best before. By doing so, you have no idea when the bread was actually baked. In other words, how old it is. When are they ever going to get tr truth in labelling? It is not illegal to sell five-day-old bread at full price. Retailers call this in-store maximisation. Previously, they tossed out 20% of their bread. Now, less waste means bigger profits. So we checked out 100 supermarkets and major independents around the country. Incredibly, 93% of what we purchased was old bread. We bought on the 31st of May, so anything baked on that day should have a best before tag of June 5, but none did. Of our 20 samples in Sydney, these nine loaves were still for sale with the best before tag of June 4th, making them one day old. Another eight loaves were two days old. These two were three days old. And this sun blessed wasn't so blessed, having sat on the shelf for four days and still at full price. In Queensland, more than half our 20 purchases were a day old, with some on the shelves for two or three days. Victoria was a little worse. 90% of it wasn't freshly baked. In South Australia, not one loaf purchased was baked on the day. And in the West, the vast majority of WA bread was at least a day old. Now, let's get back to those chemicals which make the bread feel fresh. A lot of bread still contain BHA or 320, and this has been known since the 60s to cause uh, behavioural problems in children, to cause asthma in some people, and to be associated with depression in quite a few people. Nutritionist Zoe Bingley Pullen highlights some other concerns. Your main preservative, which is your calcium propionate, which is 282, that's basically an anti mold that they put into breads nowadays. That's been shown to have some quite convincing links to, in some people, to uh, ADHD. Simon Baker just happens to be a baker. So tell me, Simon, are you putting preservative 282 in that? No, we don't have 282 in any of our um, products. What about 320? No, not that either. Any sugar? Uh, no sugar in any of this stuff here. Well, well, why is it made that they put it in their bread, but you don't have to put it in yours? Basically just to, to keep it fresh, because their, their time frame from when it's baked to 
when it's uh, sold is significantly greater. Than Fresh than bread makers like Baker's Delight bake for that day and then either toss the leftovers out or give it to charity when they close the store. Howard Dengate buys his daily bread from stores like this because he can't trust the labels on supermarket bread. There's a 5% labelling loophole. This means that if the amount of an additive that's in a compound in a food is less than 5% and the manufacturer thinks that it no longer performs a technological function, you can see the lawyers have had a field day with this, then it doesn't have to be on the label. So the only way to find out whether there's BHA 320 in the oil in the bread is to ring the manufacturer. And most of them do have that synthetic antioxidant in them. For its part, Tip Top says it has no artificial preservatives in its bread, but didn't want to comment about the five-day-old shelf life. Goodman Fielder told us they only have fresh product on the shelf, but they didn't want to be interviewed about it. Woolies says it has strict guidelines in place to ensure its customers have the freshest of bread. And Coles says it will now be reviewing its in-store procedures to make sure its customers get the freshest bread possible. This bread's four days old. Would you eat it? Well, to tell you the truth, Brady, I wouldn't eat white bread in the first place because it's got very little nutritional value. But if a bread's been on the shelf for four to five days, I'd definitely question it. Brady Hall's with that story. Tip Top have now sent an additional statement saying they do not use artificial preservatives, but vinegar is used as a natural preservative.